second time lucky, this is the second time I've tried to uh, find somewhere to film today. Uh, the first place was far too busy and uh, there was cars everywhere and it was a bit strange me standing there with a the camera. So I found like a, a nice church, there's a school over there as well. Um, and it's overlooking some fields, you just can't see them because it's over that crest. Um, so yeah, I've had this, uh, this is the YZFR125, see the decals there, 125 Gamma Hull. Um, it's the, uh, the probably the sportiest looking 125 you can buy. You have to excuse the, uh, if it's a bit dirty, I haven't washed it in a while and it's been raining as well so all the mud splattered onto it. Um, it's modelled after the, uh, the bigger bikes in the Yamaha R series range, so the R6 and the R1. Um, obviously I've got learner uh, thingies, so, but yeah, um, it's also the biggest 125 you can buy uh, in terms of, you know, size. I mean, the helmet's, uh, just move this, just my gloves, and, uh, I mean, the seat and, you know, you can see how much larger it is, uh, you know, because I'm quite tall, I'm about 6'1", so, and legally in Britain this is the biggest bike you can buy on learner. Uh, on a provisional license. Once you pass your full test, you're still limited uh, to a bike smaller than an R6, but you can have a a limiter put on or whatever. So um, yeah, I don't know all the specifics, but I hope to get my test done before the end of this year because uh, they're changing the law. But anyway, um, like I was saying, it's big enough for me to sit on without looking like an elephant on a unicycle. Um, which is the problem with lots of 125s. It is a bit more expensive. This one was second hand. Uh, it has had a, an accident before I bought it. You might be able to see the, uh, the old scratches on there. It's probably not gonna focus, but uh, this whole, I crashed it as well. I mean, I had to replace this whole front. Uh, let's put my helmet down. I had my, I did, I think I told people in one of my videos that I did have an accident and I had to replace this, uh, this as well. One of these panels um, this I didn't actually scratch any of this this was all scratched before I bought it so I need to get some uh, paint for it and spray paint it again but uh, yeah I don't really know what to say here's my helmet um, yeah the bike cost me £2,000 uh, that's, that's what I was going to say it cost me £2,000 uh, it's MOT taxed until next year so that's fine uh, my helmet cost me 170 it's a Valentino Rossi replica um, AGB. Uh, this is a custom visor, it's a black one. Uh, it's actually completely, I mean when I'm wearing it you can't see through it at all. Um, uh, but that's technically illegal that one. So, I mean the police haven't stopped me before but if they do they normally only give you a caution. Um, it's the same with the plates, the L plates. If you don't have your L plates on um, and you're a learner you get three points for each one and uh, there's my other old plates on the front, the other one's hanging off the back, you can see it flapping. Um, and uh, you get three points for each one. Uh, and then you lose your licence, because on a provisional you only get six points. So yeah, um, I suppose I'll turn it on just so you can hear what it sounds like. It does sound like a tractor, but considering it's a 125, I think it makes a pretty decent noise. <laughs> Yeah, I mean I filled it up a few days ago, but I did go up to London uh, on it, which was a bad idea, I got lost, but anyway, uh, I don't really know what else to say, I'm wearing my jacket, I'm going to try and not show you my face today, because my hair is in absolute shambles, I haven't had a haircut in ages, it's a lot like James May, but even worse, um, it's a Furigan jacket, uh, it's a good brand, um, I've got armour plating on the back, this cost me about, I can't remember how much, that was about 170 this was about the same, so, you know, overall, with the gloves. I'm not wearing my trousers or my boots today, I've just got my jeans and my Supras on. Um, but all together, gear was about £400, so the bike was about £2,000, so that's about two and a half grand. Um, I had a fund, which is how I could afford it. I mean, I had a fund from one of my relatives, so once I turned 21 I had access to it. But uh, it's, it's very expensive. Obviously this is an expensive 125, um, purely on its design and its well, you know, how fast it goes, it's, it's a lot, the acceleration is a lot higher than some of the other 125s. Um, but yeah, so, you know, you can buy 125s for about a thousand pounds, some of it brand new, so cheap, 
you know, Chinese ones, but uh, if you want me to do any more videos, you know, in terms of motorbikes, I mean, I hopefully one day I'll be able to get a camera to fit on here and I can do some motorbike vlogging, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's all about money and I don't have any at the moment, so uh, that's about it really. So thanks for watching. Uh, remember to comment, uh, like or dislike, depending. I don't know how you could dislike this. I mean, it's such a beautiful piece of machinery, apart from all the dirt on it. But uh, yeah, let's get a wide out shot to end on and uh, bye for now. I'll see you all very soon.